to where we were a year ago, um, to the tune of almost $500,000 more in state aid than we had a year ago. Um, but other aids that we have too, like we have more sparsity aid this year. We'll have more per pupil aid this year. Um, so there's you know several items that that have um, certainly transpired. Hold on here, Lisa. Your thing's going too fast here. <laughs> You've got the automatic setting on it. So, um, so fund 10 aid or fund 10 revenue is certainly up. Fund 27, that's special education, that's going to be up a little bit. The state has pumped a bit more money into special education. Um, fund 38 is debt service. You'll notice we're proposing a bit more revenue in debt service. It's because the way we're paying off our debt. Uh, we actually have that payment increasing over the next few years, a little bit each year, so that we can get it paid down um, in a bit quicker fashion than we had originally set. That was originally supposed to be a balloon payment. We financed the balloon payment out of there. Um, fund 50, uh, you'll notice revenues are down just a bit in Fund 50. Uh, fund 50 is food service. Um, part of that really is going to be explained later on when we talk about a surplus that food service had carried. Um, and we're trying to spend down that surplus. And then fund 80 is community service and no change there. Uh, expenses. Obviously, we want to balance budget, so expenses and, and revenues match. So you can see fund 10. Um, Again, the expenses, the expenditures is up to match the revenues. Um, but one other piece of Fund 10 that we had that was somewhat significant amount, we have an extra $62,000 in Fund 10 uh, that is basically that CARES Act, it's the, the relief money um, that's also accounted for in this year's Fund 10. So, and you'll see Fund 50, the expenditures is more than the revenues, that's our dealing with the surplus that we were carrying in Fund 50. So Fund 50 is in great shape, so don't be concerned that the revenues fell off suddenly and we're going to have a big problem there. Fund 50, our food service is in excellent shape at the moment. So next. This is revenues by fund. And last year, uh, the big picture here is Fund 10. Last year was at 85.28%. Uh, of the total revenues was eaten away by Fund 10. Uh, that is where most of our spending happens within the district. Um, and you'll notice some small changes between last year's Fund 10 revenues by fund and this year's. Um, so Lisa, if you want to pop ahead one there. This year, Fund 10 is going to make up 86% of all of our revenue. So despite the fact there's a whole lot more money in it by a percentage of fund, it's not that big of a difference between the two. Um, and that has to do with food service revenue going down and some things like that. Um, expenditures by fund. This is where it gets, you know, and again, these should match. So last year, these expenditures should match the revenues. And then this year, you'll notice the one that won't for 2021 match the revenues is food service. Um, our expenditures are above our revenues in food service. So, uh, and again, that's because we're trying to deal with the, with the surplus of funds there. So, um, let's, go, let's go into the Fund 10 specifically. So, in Fund 10 specifically, this is how it was broken up a year ago. The biggest, we talk about this every year, the biggest expenditure line is salaries and benefits. Um, and purchase services, these are all kinds of things, from our CESA contracts to our, um, to our waste removal. You know, that's, that's all kinds of services that we have out there. Uh, supplies and equipment um, takes up a decent chunk. Transfers and tuition, um, this, would be, this would basically be everything that we spend, whether it be start college now or open enrollment. So, um, and then our insurance. So if we look at this year, you'll notice a couple of the lines are up 
purchase services is up a bit. Well, right now in the time of COVID-19, we, we actually have some more services uh, that we have had to deal with. Uh, supplies and equipment is up a bit. Uh, again, with COVID-19, um, you know, masks aren't cheap. And even though we've given everybody cloth masks, we still use a lot of the paper ones too. Uh, transfer into transfers and tuition is down a bit as a percentage of the whole, and so salaries and benefits down a bit as a percentage of the whole. Doesn't mean the spending is down, just as a percentage of the whole. So. And then a couple of other items. I want to talk about the history of our Fund 10 levies, or our tax levy, and our Fund 10 operational balance. So the blue line represents the tax levy. And actually, this is dollar amounts, not, not the mill rate. So in dollar amounts, um, our tax levy is going to be down a bit this year, what we have to go to the taxpayers and ask for. Slide that back. And that's primarily due to the fact that we have more state aid coming in our door. Um, so that we have more equalized aid. It will offset what we need to spend in terms of our, our tax levy. Uh, the other thing is our operational balance. We were able to tick that up just a bit this year, uh, about $100,000. Again, you know, trying to get ourselves out of the position where we have to short-term borrow. I will tell you this year we're expecting to short-term borrow again sometime in November to carry us through December. Um, so, you know, that operational balance is more like a cash on hand uh, item is really what it is. Um, the district really, if the district truly wanted to carry a, a surplus, we'd have to, we can't, uh, in the sense of purposely budgeting out a surplus. But we can have cash on hand, and that's allowed. So, um, and I'm going to show you a couple of charts in the booklet that are probably much more explanatory of this. Uh, next chart is going to show you what's happened between equalization aid and property tax. If you take a look there, the equalization aid is taking, we're getting a much bigger chunk of our overall uh, fund 10 expenditures and, and budget this year in equalization aid. And if you look at what that's done to the property tax, it's pushed it down. So we're not quite to two thirds funded by the state, but we're a lot closer than we were a year ago. So um, yeah, that's a really telling chart. So I think that we've gone from taxing for 40% of our, of our, uh, or of our uh, limit, our revenue limit, to taxing for 36% this year. That's a big change. So go ahead, Lisa. Uh, one item is our long-term debt. We don't have a lot of long-term debt. We have just under 500,000. Um, that is actually scheduled, our last payment is scheduled for August of 2025 on that. So the payments, I believe it's starting next year, uh, we'll have paid, we actually have two loans currently um, outstanding on this. We will pay one off next year and then the balance of what we were paying in total will be used to pay um, for the second loan to pay that off by 2025. Those are statutory, uh, those by statute. By statute, we have to pay those off in 20 years, so they are both coming on their 20 year due dates. So, um, and as you can see, we can actually take out almost $20 million worth of debt if we really want it, but we don't want to. Uh, we can actually only take out about a million at any a million dollars at any given time by school board authority. So, uh, last slide of uh, this packet, and then we'll jump into the packet. Uh, last slide is our September pupil count. Um, so, there's the pupil enrollment, and then there's the head count. The enrollment is the number that DPI uses to calculate our revenue limit. The head count is the number that we actually had seated. Um, so the green is the headcount, and the blue is what the DPI uses to calculate our revenue limit. So 
you can take a look there. Uh, you can see we are down 19 students from a year ago uh, in the headcount, but our overall student uh, pupil enrollment count for revenue limit is up. I understood at the last board meeting that some of that was because people had moved out of the district. Yep, we did have some of that people uh, move out. We, a bit of it was homeschooling due to COVID. Would, would you anticipate that, assuming that next fall things are better, I hope, that some of those people might come back? Yeah, I suppose that's a possibility. I think the big kicker here is what's going to happen um, long term in the area with the economy yeah. due to the mill closure. Right. So, you know, that certainly has an effect on this, I think. Sure. So, um, a few things I want to point out in your packets or in your booklets. So, we're going to end the, the presentation on the screen. Donna, could you? Hit the lights on that panel. And then we're going to turn this off. So we're going to transfer to another piece here. Just give me a moment. So in your booklet, uh, there's my message. You can read that when you get a chance. Um, then there's the report on, if you go to page, I believe it's page six and seven in your packets, those are reports on revenues and reports on expenditures. And that's last year, so this is what, um, what we ended the year at on page six and seven. Um, you know, and there are no, no huge surprises in any of that um, from, the, from that revenues report or expenditures. I guess the biggest surprise we've had has been in food service, to be quite frank, with, with what's happened in food service. Um, we are carrying an extensive fund balance there that we, we have, we budgeted it in a way though, so that we're showing that we're, we actually are gonna go into this next budget with a smaller fund balance because we're trying to spend that because you're supposed to, you're supposed to make the upgrades to your food service area. Uh, your facilities and things. So we're not supposed to carry a huge fund balance there. Uh, we are trying to, to do some things and, and take care of that fund balance, including um, uh, looking this year at replacing our walk-in cooler. Um, so this last year we redid the cooling system on our walk-in freezer. This year we are looking at completely rebuilding our walk-in cooler. Um, that's the original unit in there. Uh, when that kitchen was built at the high school. So it's time. Um, we, we, we have trouble keeping temperature on that. Um, and it's not for lack of trying. It's, the whole system needs, needs a, a rebuild. Um, if you take a look at page eight, on page eight on that packet, you'll see the district tax levies and actual dollar amounts. And I have a little fun with this information. You have to go back to 2014-15 uh, when we taxed for less in total dollars than we are this year. So in the past uh, six years, I mean, you have to go back quite a ways now. And then to get back below $2 million in taxation, you have to go to 09 and 10. So when you actually look at our overall tax levy, it has changed really very little over the years. We've hovered, uh, since 2009 and 10, we've hovered at right about the 2 million mark, or yeah, right about at the 2 million mark, with the exception of just a couple of years, and last year being one of those. Um, and you actually, you actually have to go back quite a ways. If you look at the next page at the bottom, it's the levy rates. The levy that we're going to propose tonight, you actually have to go back to the 0607 school year, so one year off of this chart, to get to a lower tax levy than we're proposing tonight. So um, it has been quite a while, and, and you can see that. Um, and there's a lot of reasons for that. And the biggest reason is we have more equalization aid coming in. Uh, second reason, though, is we did have a, a gain again in total equalized value. That's also on the chart on page nine. Equalized value is up almost $2 million, just shy of $2 million from, from a year ago. However, one interesting note on the equalized values on page nine, 
If you look at the town of Cranmore, their equalized value is down $6 million. So there was obviously a great big change in property valuation there. And I think it was a reclassification of some property in the town of Cranmore that resulted in a $6 million loss in value. Did they have a, a required reassessment? No, I believe they had a change in some status of actual property. Like it went from one property designation to another, and that changed how that property is taxed. So like, you know, going from residential to forest land and some things like that, or okay. agriculture, it's gonna change in the, the, the value of how that land is taxed. You know, if that was something that the town you know, instigated, or was that something that the supervisor of assessments put on them? I am not sure. Okay. So um, that may have a profound effect on the town itself in terms of well, six right. million dollars loss of equalized value is a lot when you're dealing with um, forty-one million overall uh, a couple of years ago. So um, back kind of the page eight. I'm sorry, I'm bouncing around here. Uh, the operational fund balance, you can see that it grew by just about $100,000, $101,000 uh, this last year. Again, not quite enough to buy our way out of uh, short-term borrowing, but uh, it's a start. So, um, page 10 is the proposed budget. And you can look at the last two years' audited budgets, and you can look at this year's proposed budget. Um, Again, you're going to see that local sources under general fund 10, you know, less local sources. And if you go down into the uh, state sources, you're going to see that number go up by quite a bit. And so that's the, that's the result of that equalized value or equalized aid, equalization aid. Um, you know, and I do want to address, you know, what... The path that we've been down in terms of our budget has been to really start to take care of a lot of the, the maintenance that has been lagging because of lack of, lack of capacity to do that. Um, so when you look at what we're gonna look at in expenditures, you know that was one of the referendum pieces was we haven't had the ability to deal with some problems that are gonna start to, to bite us. And uh, uh, you look at the middle school, high school facility, one of, the, one of the problems there has been um, sealing up that facility, getting the window sealed, tuck pointing. I, I, that's a, you're gonna hear that a lot from me this year. That building is in need of some dire tuck pointing in areas. Major tuck pointing needs to be done in areas. Um, but just simply updating you know, the interiors. Uh, you look at the library here, uh, carpets and rooms, and the high school and middle school have some of those same needs. Uh, so we want, we're want we dealing with some of those outside pieces, making sure the rainwater doesn't come in. And at the same time, we're also trying to upgrade some of the interior pieces. Uh, we've been making the upgrade in our internet uh, connectivity. Um, and a big project was uh, worked on this year to go to Cat 6 line versus the Cat, Cat 5. So we've been making uh, you know, strides in a lot of different areas. Um, has the line joining the two buildings been replaced? No, not at, yet. <laughs> so that's on the list. That that is that is something we are looking for down the road here. Yep. Uh, it's upgrading the the high speed line between the two buildings. So um, you'll see in Fund Fifty, we're dealing with the surplus um, that has grown. I guess it's just, uh, you know, some of the charts on the next pages are very similar to what I went over. Um, you can see on page 13 talks about that debt situation. And then on the last page, 14, is you can look at those enrollment numbers. So one of the things I want to point out is on the last page, looking at the enrollment numbers, if you look at the 2021 line, you can see our headcount was 439. Then it says less non-resident reductions. Those are kids open enrolled in. We actually have to subtract them off the line. And then plus resident additions are open enrolled in and um, 6603 into 4K. Um, but our actual open enroll, or I'm sorry, we have our open enroll in, which is 124. The 115 is our open enrolled out plus 
6603s for special education and uh, 4K and, and, uh, and some of the virtual programming that a few kids have opened and rolled out. But you can see that number is less, and that's actually a good thing. Um, because that's money we have to pay out. So those 115 students represents money we pay out the door. So to have that number be less is probably okay, because that's less we pay out the door. Um, we pay out per kid, roughly. Uh, this year it's supposed to be $8,125-ish. They haven't fully set that in stone yet. So. Increases each year. Yeah. So. Um, with that, any other questions? Otherwise, I will close the budget hearing part, and we can commence the annual meeting part. So, although John is online, and uh, so is Ben, and I have them both muted at the moment, they technically cannot participate in the annual meeting because I didn't, the annual meeting is a meeting of the electors, and we didn't post that out with the ability for other electors to participate virtually. So John and Ben are here for the, the just listening in on the annual meeting, um, but it's the people in this room that'll have to deal with the annual meeting, so that puts Leo in charge of at least calling the annual meeting to order. All right. I will call the annual meeting of the Port Edward School District order at 6.26 p.m. First order of business is the election of a chairperson to conduct the meeting. I nominate Leo Thomas Gardner as chairperson. I will right. second that. <laughs> a motion has been made and seconded to nominate me for the chairperson to conduct the meeting. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Not hearing any. Um, Motion's been made and seconded. All those in favor of uh, electing me as the chairperson for the meeting, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Very well. The uh, second task is the election of a clerk to record the business of the meeting. I'm going to point something out on this that I want you to know that I have found out. Carrie is automatically the clerk of this meeting uh, by state statute. <laughs> Um, now, you can designate somebody to assist you with taking notes. Can but, I designate Lisa to? But assist? we actually do not have to carry out the election of the clerk by statute. Carrie is the clerk because you are board clerk or district clerk. So, so, so I would like to appoint Lisa to assist me in the taking of the minutes for this. We would only have to elect a clerk if you were not present. So, I learned that this year. <laughs> <laughs> Item four, approval of minutes of the annual meeting of 2019. So moved. Second. Motion is made and seconded to approve the minutes of last year's Port Edward School District annual meeting. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motions carried. Item 5, approval of 2019-2020 report on revenues. All, all second. Motion's been made and seconded. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor of approval of the 2019-2020 report on revenues say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item six, approval of the 2019-2020 report on expenditures. So moved. I'll second. The motion is made and seconded for approval of the 2019-2020 report on expenditures for the Port Edward School District. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item seven, new business. Sub A, authorize the school board to establish the date and time for the 2021 annual meeting. So moved. Second. The motion is made and seconded to authorize the school board to establish the date for next year's annual meeting. 
Any discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item B, establish salaries for school board members. Currently set at $1,400 annually. I would uh, make a motion that we keep it at $1,400. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to establish the salary of the Portland Wood School Board at $1,400 annually. Uh, any discussion? Hearing none, uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Uh, item C, authorize the payment of actual and necessary expenses of school board members for traveling and performance of their duties. I'll make that motion. I will second. Motion has been made and second. seconded to authorize the payment of actual and necessary expenses for the school board members for traveling and the performance of duties. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item D, approve the tax levy. School board requests approval of a tax levy of two million forty-five thousand nine hundred and eighty-three dollars, as established by the Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction. The mill rate for this tax levy is point zero one zero one zero zero four six. So moved. I will second that. Motion has been made and seconded to approve the tax levy for the Port Edward School District for the coming year. Is there any discussion? So that will just, just so everybody knows, that is ten dollars and ten cent per thousand, or um, one thousand ten dollars per hundred thousand. So. Any further discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. Item E. Authorize the school board to dispose of surplus property. So moved. I will second it. Motion has been made and seconded to dispose of district surplus property. Um, any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item F. Authorize the school board to furnish school lunches to the pupils of the school district that appropriate funds for that purpose. I'll make that motion. Second. Okay. Motion has been made and seconded to furnish school lunches to the pupils of the school district and appropriate monies for that purpose. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item G, authorize the school board to short-term borrow to meet current operational expenses if necessary. Mm -hmm. I will second that. Motion has been made and second to authorize short term borrowing if needed for operational expenses. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item H Authorize the school board to hold cash assets of the school district of the Lucusa Port Edward State Bank. So moved. Second. Motion has been made and second to. Authorize the school board to hold cash assets of the district at the Nakusa Port Edward State Bank. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item I. Entertain any other matters provided by law related to the management and operation of school affairs. Do we have any other business? Hearing none, we will move on to item eight. Call for adjournment of the annual meeting and commence a special session of the Board of Education. I'll move to adjourn. Second. Motion is made and second to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Leo, I'm, I'm going to move the computer closer to you. I'm going to unmute Ben and John so that they can now participate in the board meeting. Okay. Give me a moment, John and Ben. Um, Hello. Would it would it make more sense for me to just go back to my other place? No, that's fine. I might need your help though, Lisa. You can unplug me in this place. I can unplug you, okay, because I can't be unplugged. Well, we're not going to need the overhead. I can go back to where I was. Fine. Just do this. Okay. Okay. So.
that. I'm going to unmute you through hold on your hand. Or that if you can unmute yourself. Try it. So, John, you're all set. Okay. Yep, and Leo can hear you. I'm sure. Oh, the only one I. Ben, I'm having trouble unmuting you. I don't know if you've got an unmute on your end, John. Ben, that you can unmute yourself. It's not. Technology is not being my friend tonight. On the unmute is usually at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, if you hover over that, you should be able to unmute it. Then, let me, let me see here if I can unmute all of the participants. Unmute all or unmute all. It should unmute you, Ben, but it's not showing it yet, so I don't know why Ben's not unmuting. But I guess the provision would be we do have a quorum, we'll need to carry on at some moment if Ben doesn't unmute. Now, John, um, yeah, I think we are. Are you, were you going to give the chair over to Leo tonight? Yes, I was. Okay. Thomas Carr. Here. John Dobbins by Zoom. Here. And Ben Martinson by Zoom. And we're having a, we're having a technical issue with Ben. He's trying to unmute his. He's not letting me. So we heard him earlier, but yeah. <laughs> However, we want to list that again. So, Ben, if you are able to participate at some point, I guess then. Um, Please join us. Uh, we're, we're trying. Okay. Consider an approval of the agenda for tonight's special session. So moved. Second. Motion made and seconded to approve the agenda for this evening. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Motion carried. Item 2 adopt the 2021 budget. I make motion that we approve the budget as laid out in the booklet. Second. Okay, motion has been made and seconded to adopt the 2021 budget for the, the uh, previous discussion as outlined in the annual meeting booklet. Um, any further discussion concerning the budget? May I make just a few comments on this year's budget moving forward? By no means. Um, so you noticed, uh, and we talked about it in the budget hearing, our average um, membership for students is up by 10 for purposes of budgeting uh, that has a significant effect um, so is our per pupil aid uh, we have COVID relief money so several areas where we have increased revenue obviously um, it's going to help us that we have fewer outgoing open enrolled students that's less money we're paying out uh, additionally um, we're actually bringing more money in on open enrollment in the budget uh, not a lot, but some. So, you know, all these things add up. Um, you know, we continue to prioritize some of the budget areas uh, from the referendum, updating curriculum. We're doing some social studies this year, some middle school, high school math, and some physical education. And there were a few resources that we carried over into this budget that we'd actually worked on purchasing in the last budget. Uh, we carried them over so that we'd have the funds to do that and get all of that taken care of. Um, we're going to continue to do carpet replacement, convert lighting, reseal windows, tuck point brick. Um, we've got to do some repair work on our front steps at the high school. Um, the, in the food service budget, uh, walk-in cooler. Uh, they're also looking at a new dishwashing machine and some other upgrades in that area. Um, looking at asbestos mitigation in the middle school hallways and in the library. Uh, the tile is the original tile, and, and we know that the mastic used to stick that down. 
have asbestos. And so um, we also know that we have some areas where we need to do repair work on that tile. And now is the time to get that done. Um, you know, we just replaced the roof in the tech ed area, the music area. Uh, down the road, we need to look at a roof replacement over the, the small gymnasium. And at that time, too, we're also going to look to add some gutters onto the east side uh, so that we can uh, deal with some water issues we're having on the small gymnasium. Um, we've obviously, there's some items, uh, increased cleaning and sanitizing uh, that we're paying for with an additional cleaner, uh, with additional resources and products that we need to take on uh, that increased uh, cleaning regimen, um, as well as personal protective equipment, um, uh, more time in our health office. Uh, so we have, we have really, you know, we're doing a lot in this budget. So um, including purchasing one-to-one -one devices so that in the event that we have to go um, fully virtual, we're capable to do that. So, and at the end of the day, we're still going to look to hopefully increase that cash reserve a little bit um, so that we can continue to work out of the short-term borrow. So uh, with that, just a bit of a summary on this year's, some of the things that we've laid out as priorities in this year's budget. Okay, thank you. Any further comment or discussion about the 2021 budget? Hearing none, um, we have a motion on the floor. All those in favor of adopting the 2021 budget as presented, say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carried. Item three, establish the 2021 tax levy. I'll make a motion that we instead or approve the tax levy of $2,045,983. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Motion to be made and second to establish the 2021 tax levy. Any discussion? That is an 88 cent reduction per thousand from a year ago. So, very good. Any further discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carried. Item four, consider approval of line of credit in the amount of $650,000. So moved. I will second it. Motion's been made and second to approve a line of credit at the Nakusa Port Edwards State Bank for purposes of cash flow in the amount of $650,000. So last year we did draw on that line in the November, December timeframe of approximately $200,000. Uh, we tried to pay that back as quickly as we could uh, so that we would minimize our uh, interest. Um, I think we had that paid by February. Um, so, you know, we were paying it as we were getting revenues in. Um, last year, the interest rate was three, and this year it is 2.25. So a lower interest rate this year on that line of credit. And I'm gonna tell you right now, we're probably looking at Borrowing at about the same time and similar amounts that we did last year. Any further discussion or comment? The motion has been made and seconded. Considering the approval of the line of credit, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carried. Call for adjournment. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. 6.43 p.m.